Hello students, you're welcome to today's lesson. Today we're we'll looking at another interesting topic, map measurements. In our previous lesson, we actually discussed about the scale of a map. So this lesson will be looking at various objectives. One, we should be able to define a map. What is it that we refer to as a map? Also, we're we'll looking at the measurement of map. How do we measure a map? And thereafter, We'll be looking at the definition of distance along two points on a map. How do we define the distance between two points and how do we measure as well? Also, we'll be looking at some of the materials that are needed for this map measurement. Thereafter, we'll be looking at the procedures that we need to carry out the map measurements also be looking at the calculation of area of a regular surface and also we'll be looking at that of irregular surfaces as well so how do we calculate the area of these surfaces now the question is what is map measurement map measurement is an aspect of map work that involves every form of measurement on a topographic map. We can also say that it is uh, an aspect of measuring distances or dimensions of map. Now looking at the measurements of map, of course, like we said last class, a map must have a scale. So scale is an important aspect of a map. Now in measurement of map, Two aspects are usually taken into consideration. That is the measurement of distance and measurement of area. And kilometer is a unit of measurement that is commonly used in representing distance on a map. When measuring the distance on a map, it is important to consider the curvature of the edge. Why the process of converting distances on a map to actual grand distance is called scaling. Next, we'll be looking at measurement of distance of on a straight line. This has to do with the interval between two points on a map. Now, in carrying out the measurement of distance, those procedures are necessary. First, you locate the two places involved. Secondly, you use your ruler to measure the distance between two places. Thereafter, you relate the distance measured on the map to the given scale and that gives you the ground distance. Next, we'll be looking at example. We have before us calculate the ground distance between two points A and B whose distance is 5 cm and the scale of the map is 1 ratio 100,000. Now the, the measurement is given to us and the scale we have it to be in RF. So looking at it, we'll first of all bring out the distance and the scale. Thereafter, we multiply the distance with the scale and we divide by the scale given. And that gives us the 5 kilometer. Now, we can actually relate this 5 kilometer to the linear scale. Or we can also relate it to the RF, which simply means 1 centimeter represents 5 kilometer. Also, looking at measurement of distance along a curve, there are certain procedures that we need to follow. When we can actually use a pair of divider to carry out this work. And in using the pair of divider, the following steps are necessary. One, you break the divider into more sections using the divider. Thereafter, you add up to get the total distance and with using the scale of the map. Also, we can use that of a piece of thread. Of course, this is the one that is often recommended for students. In carrying out these measurements, you need to stretch a piece of thread, white preferably, along the root or the course you are measuring. After you stretch it to your ruler to get the actual measurement and relate it with the scale of a map.
Next, we'll be looking at the measurement of regular area. Now, to measure the regular area, several steps are also involved. The first is to get the length of the place that you are supposed to measure or the map. Thereafter, you relate it to the scale of the map. Also, you get the width of the map and also relate it to the scale of the map. And you multiply both length and breadth. Of course, that gives you the area. Now, let's look at an example. It said, calculate the area of a map whose length is 8 cm and width 4 cm, given that the scale is 1 cm to 1 km. Now, what it simply means, you bring out the parameters. We have the length to be 8 cm, the width 4, and the map scale, and thereafter, convert the length to kilometer, and that gives us 4 kilometer. And the width will also give us 2 kilometer. And dividing, of course, we we'll still have the 8 kilometer as the area of that mapped. Next, we'll be looking at the measurement of irregular areas. Now, for the measurement of irregular areas or shape, two methods are usually involved. We have the method of squares and the strip method. Now, employing the method of squares, what you need to do, the following procedures are necessary. Now, you trace out the outline of the future to be measured on a graph paper. Thereafter, you get the numbers of complete squares and also that of the partial or incomplete squares. Thereafter, you add the number of complete squares to the number of the partial squares that have been divided. Thereafter, we can find the area of the graph using the regular shape, which is multiplying the length and breadth together. Now we can actually take an example. We have an example before us. Calculate the area of the figure below using the square method. Looking at it, what we have is the irregular shape. So we want to calculate the area of this shape. What we need to do first is to get a graph sheet and bring out the number of complete squares on this figure. Then we calculate the number of the incomplete squares as well. Now, assuming the number of complete squares is 10, why that of the incomplete is 16. Of course, we have to divide the number of incomplete square, which is into 2. We divide by 2 and that gives us 8. And we relate the total number. We now add this divided one to the complete one, giving us 18. And we multiply, related, relating it with the scale of the map. By the time we multiply, we have 4.5 square kilometers. We actually divided because we are using that of square kilometers. So we divide by 100,000. Next is using the strip method. Using the strip method, first we have to trace the outline of the irregular shape. That is, we fill the area with strip of equal width. Then we draw the series of the parallel lines. And we take a dimension that is suitable for us. Assuming we are using 0 0.5 dimension, there are vertical lines. You can actually draw the vertical lines and this automatically we convert it to a rectangle. And after that, we add up the length of the strips by multiplying it with the dimension and relating it to the scale. Now we have an example before us. Calculate the area of that same shape that we had before. Now we said, assuming we are using that same figure, which is a shape, we should calculate the area using the strip method. So first, we get the total length of the strips and also the width of the strips. Thereafter, we look at the area that is being represented. And in doing that, we multiply and divide by what we have. Then we relate to the scale and that gives us 4.5. With this, we have come to the end of the lesson. Please do well to attempt your quizzes and ask questions if there are any. See you in my next class and bye for now. now.